Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quentin here and this is tutorial number 31 and in this tutorial we are going to take a look at the float and clear properties in CSS. Okay, uh, so in this video I'm just going to explain the basics but in the next video we're actually going to use float and clear to do something a little bit more complicated and that is to make a three column layout for a website. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that in the next video. So get keen. Okay. But in this video, uh, let's go ahead and just learn the basics. So I'm going to show you guys how to float an image to the side and then clear um, the image as well. So uh, let's look at my directory structure over here or my uh, files. Okay. So I've got my index file and my CSS file which you guys know about because we've been working about working with these for a long time uh, and then I've also got me.jpg which is a picture of me so look how handsome I am right there <laughs> just kidding but uh, uh, let's go over here now and uh, just add that picture of me and we'll put in some content so uh, image and then I'm going to give this a source of uh, me.jpg because that's the image's name and um, just if you guys have your images in subdirectories like so if this picture was in another picture called images then just remember to use your full directory path I do talk about that um, in a directory structures video so if you guys don't know what I'm talking about go back and watch that okay so image source is equal to me and uh, the alt attribute for this can just be pick of me and uh, not that it's necessary for now but uh, let's go ahead now and add in a width and a height okay and I happen to know that this image if I click on it here is 200 by 2 100 so 200 by 200 and the last thing I want to do with this image is give it a class of uh, pick okay then I'm also gonna go ahead and add in some content over here so I'll open up a paragraph and close it off and uh, duplicate that so we have two paragraphs actually okay and instead of you guys watching me type out a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo I'm gonna go ahead and just copy something from over here and paste it in so cool and again over here control C control V and if you guys uh, don't know what's going on here <laughs> then don't worry it's not English so you're not meant to understand um, that is actually Latin and it's just there as filler content for if you're ever a web designer and you just want to fill a website up with some content to see what it would look like if there are um, sentences or words or something on it uh, then you go ahead and just paste in some filler content but let's just uh, minimize those for now and um, yeah so right now we have an image and two paragraphs so let's go ahead and take a look at this in the browser run and, run and launch in Firefox uh, so there we've got an image of me and we have a paragraph and another paragraph okay uh, now let's take a look at float and clear so go to CSS and grab this picture by its class so I gave it a class of pick and let's go ahead and select that by pick and we can look at the float property first which is float and I'm going to give this a value of left so this can have two different values it can have float left or float right uh, so let's float it left quickly and it's probably not going to look very different um, if we go back here to the browser the image isn't going to move anywhere um, but what actually happens is it gets floated so this paragraph that's underneath here should actually jump up and wrap around the image well actually both of the paragraphs are going to do that so click refresh and as you can see we now have 
two paragraphs that are uh, wrapped pretty much around our image. It doesn't look like they're wrapped because they weren't long enough. So um, let's go over here, just open up this paragraph and I'm gonna make it double its size. So just copy and paste it twice. <laughs> and go back here, click refresh. Now we have our paragraphs actually wrapping around the image. So you can see that a lot cl more clearly. Now, this is something that you guys do see quite often if you uh, read news on the internet or something and they include a picture in the article. Uh, this you do see quite often in, that art in the articles like that. Uh, but sometimes people decide, well, hey, they'd really like a paragraph next to the picture, but then the paragraph after that, the second paragraph, should actually appear on the bottom. Okay, uh, then we have to go ahead and use a property called clear. So let me uh, make that smaller. And on my second paragraph over here, I'm going to give this a class of... Um, para2 because it's the second paragraph and we can go ahead and select that paragraph over here so dot para2 and I will give this a property of clear okay and what clear does is just make sure that uh, whatever element that we're giving this clear attribute to or this clear property to will clear whatever is floated above it okay so in other words it'll appear underneath whatever is floated above it so because our image was floated left we can go ahead and say um, clear left and when we clear the left then go over to Firefox click refresh our paragraph over here which was actually on the side of the image has now just appeared beneath the image okay so we've actually cleared this image and if I go ahead now and change our pick to float right so float right um, I'm not going to change this clear just yet so you can see what happens uh, click refresh and as you can see we now have the paragraph over here and again the second paragraph is still wrapping around the image because instead of um, clearing the right, we actually cleared the left, but the image is actually floated right now. So um, to fix that, we could go ahead and say clear right, but what I'm going to do is set this to clear both. And what this will do is clear the left and the right. So just in case you don't know which side the floated uh, element is going to be like you don't know if it's going to be floated left or floated right you can go ahead and clear both and that will clear both sides so let's click refresh and as you can see instead of having this paragraph um, start over here and wrap around the image it is now beneath the image so that's pretty cool and of course in the next video we're actually going to use float and clear to um, make like a three column layout so i hope i will see you guys in that video and that's all i have for you guys in this video so thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment like or share the video it's really going to help my channel grow and i will see you guys next time